Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can recreate the image block designs that we used to have in the classic editor of Squarespace using Fluid Engine, the new editing experience. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I've got a free training video for you. Check out the related links listed below and head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash fluid to learn more about the new editing experience available as of July, 2022. But if you're already using Fluid and you wanna recreate those image content blocks, like the collage, the overlay, and the poster, this is the tutorial for you. Let's hop on into Squarespace and I'll show you how this works. So here we are inside Squarespace, and these are the three image layouts we're going to recreate using Fluid Engine. Collage, Overlay, and Poster. Collage has an image and a block of text with a background color. Overlay is very similar, but only the title has a background color. The other text just overlaps the image. And Poster has text on top of the image. So let's go ahead and hop into edit mode and we'll recreate these three looks as well as these looks with buttons enabled. That's right, we can do it all. So scrolling down here, I'm just going to add a new section and we'll add a blank one. And let's go ahead and add our image block first. I'm gonna select add block and I'll grab an image and we'll place it right here. Now the first one we're recreating is the collage. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit longer and we'll add an image. I'm gonna click the plus sign and I'll just select one that's already available on my site. There we go, it's loading. It's an image of some water. We're doing Fluid Engine, so it seemed appropriate. Now you'll notice right away, this image is stretching to the left and the right border of the actual content block, but it doesn't stretch all the way to the top. If you want it to fill the entire container, select this icon to edit, select design and click on fill. That'll fill the entire container with your image. Fit will keep it in proportion and stretch it from one edge to the other, either horizontally or vertically, depending upon your image itself. But if you select fill, it'll stretch to fill the entire container. All right, let's go ahead and add a block of text. I'm gonna select add block and we'll move some text over here so it overlaps the image just like we're used to with the standard card. I'm gonna click in here and we will go ahead and add a title. I'll enter a new line. You'll notice the image all automatically stretched a little bit more and we'll fix that in just a second here. We'll add a title and we'll add some descriptive paragraph text. There we go. Now I'm gonna highlight this title and make it a different font size. Now it stands out a little bit more. And let's go ahead and stretch this block down a bit and stretch it over to the side a bit as well. Now this did stretch out my image as soon as I started typing. I'm gonna press G on my keyboard so we can see this isn't perfectly centered. I've got two rows above, do you see those two squares? And then underneath, I've got three rows. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my image and we'll pull it up by one. There we go. Now this block is centered. So here's the fun part, a little known trick. If you click on your text block and either hit enter on your keyboard or click this edit icon, we can give this a background. That's right, we have backgrounds enabled for all text blocks inside Fluid Engine. Now here, I can adjust the padding, which again is gonna resize that image, but we'll work on that later. Now here I can adjust the padding to small, medium, or large, lots of options there. If you click those dots, you can adjust the padding for the top and bottom and left and right separately. Pretty cool, right? So we also have the border radius over here. If you change this to maybe 50, it'll curve all of the edges in by 50 pixels, or we can individually change them. Let's say we want the ones in the center to be zero, but the ones on the outside to have a curve, there we go. Now you'll notice these are a solid, uh, perfect 90 degree angle on those sides and it's curved only on those sides. So super customizable with the corner radius here or you can just set it to zero, whatever you wanna do. Now collage blocks can also have buttons. Right now we just have text on top of the image. Let's go ahead and increase the size of this and we'll increase the size of our image and we can add a button. I'm gonna select add block and I'll move a button over here so it's right on top of everything. There we go. Now I have a title, descriptive paragraph text and a button inside a block on top of an image. Now you'll probably remember in the classic editor of Squarespace, we can change the width of the image and the block itself. If I click on this image, I can change the width of it to take up more space or take up less space, super customizable. Very important though, as soon as you've styled it the way you want it to look on desktop, I want you to hop into the mobile version of your site and make sure it looks great there too. 
Fluid Engine will place these content blocks in the order that you added them. So that's why we had the image first, then the text, then the button. You can actually use the editor here to adjust the size on just the mobile version. If you wanna change that around a little bit, maybe create a layer, maybe pull that button up to the bottom and then change the actual height of the section. Super customizable because check it out. If we go back to desktop view, it's still exactly the same as we left it. Pretty cool, right? So definitely make sure you add this in order, image, then block of content, then the button. Now scrolling up here, we just created the collage. Let's create the overlay. Overlay is slightly different. Overlay just had a background for the title, not the descriptive text. So let's go ahead and remove this second line of text. We'll add a block, put in another block of text right here. And we'll go ahead and stretch this to take up as much space as we want. And we'll type out the description for our overlap image there. Now, because this is Squarespace, you can take this text block and you can make it any type of text that you want. Maybe instead of a heading, you just want it to be paragraph one, which will make it a lot smaller. Pull that description up if you'd like to. I'll go ahead and resize that. Now let's go ahead and resize that button and move it back up to where we want it. Maybe slightly overlapping the image, lots of options there. But if all you want is a background on the title, make that a separate block of text than the description and you'll recreate this overlay effect. And last but not least, we have poster, which as you guessed it, is pretty similar to what we did for collage. Let's go ahead and remove this text block that has the title. We're gonna take this image and let's stretch it so it fills the center of the page here. Maybe one more, there we go. Now I can pull this text to put it over the center. We'll pull this button to put it over the image. And then this part is pretty darn cool. I wanna show you if we actually increase the size of this text block, we can change the alignment of where this text is. If I click on this option right here, I can adjust the vertical alignment to put it right in the center. Let's say you don't want a button, but you want the text in the center of the block. We'll remove that button. There we go. Let's take this text block and resize it so it's on top of the image and it's right in the center vertically. Let's go ahead and make it a larger font so it's a little easier to see and we'll make sure it is in the center horizontally as well. So now our text is going to be directly on top of the image, just like the poster block we've created before. Again, don't forget to hop into the mobile view of your site and take a look. Here we have them in two different levels. We've got the image first and then the text. So I'm gonna need to grab this text block, pull it on top of the image, stretch it out to take up the full size. Let's change that alignment so it's in the middle and we'll go ahead and pull this up. Now, if you don't want it going all the way to the edge of the image, you can resize it here in mobile. And again, that won't affect the desktop. So we've stretched it to fill the entire height of the image, but pulled it in a little bit from the edges and kept everything centered. Now, going back to desktop, it's still exactly the same way that we left it. Pretty awesome, right? So that's how you can create the collage, overlay, and poster. Just make sure you add them in order, image, then text, then button. If for some reason you add them in order and it's not the way you want it to be, you can always use this option here to move it forward or backward. Just make sure you double check the mobile version as well. And whatever you decide to do, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. And there you have it, three creative ways to combine those text blocks, image blocks, and buttons to create those three layouts that we know and love from the older version of editing inside Squarespace. I hope you found this video helpful. Give me a like and a comment if you enjoyed it, and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week, and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. To learn more about the fluid editing experience now available in Squarespace, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash fluid. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash F-L-U-I-D.